right, guys and dolls, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at my screen like, what? Okay, for those, <laughs> for those of you who are subscribed, <laughs> for those of you who are subscribed, thank you for joining the family. I appreciate you. And if anybody, new subby, old subby, whoever, if you have a specific topic that you would like me to discuss, by all means, let me know in the comments below or in the comments of any of my video and hopefully I will get the message um, because YouTube doesn't always alert me for some reason. I do not know why. But today, instead of calling this Valentine's Day because this isn't the best day for everyone, I want you to call it. This is what I got from another subby. Of, uh, actually, I'm subsi subscribed, <laughs> subscribed to her channel. He and she said, for those who this is hard, you know, this particular day is difficult. Just reframe it and call it self-love awareness day. Let's do that. Okay. It's not for couples, just for couples. It's for anybody. It could be for anyone that you love. It could be for your dog. You love your dog. You love your cat. You know, um, you love your, your son, you love your daughter, you love your goldfish. It's just about love. It's not just for couples, although commercialism emphasizes on couples because they're trying to make money, baby. They're trying to make that bank. So they're going to emphasize on love and romance and lingerie and chocolates. And, and it's just bullshit. Really, it's just commercialism. So don't get sucked into that vortex. This is for people who love anything your turtle whatever your giraffe whatever you have you know what i'm saying so it's not just for couples it's just marketed that way so i don't have a degree in psychology i'm not a psycho psychiatrist psychoanalyst or anything like that however i have street cred and the reason I have street cred is because I've had on the job training ever since I was born. So, I mean, almost all of my relationships were narcissistic. In addition to having two narcissistic psychotic parents, I have a lot of knowledge on narcissism. Didn't know what it was then. I know what it is now, <laughs> obviously. Okay. Um, yeah. So, Almost all the relationships I was ever in, they were narcissistic. And so I've got tons and tons and tons of experience. And instead of me being upset, I was in a 20 year marriage. In addition to all that experience, I have a 20 plus year marriage with a person who I just thought he was a horse's ass. I didn't know that he, it went a lot deeper than that. Okay. Um, so I got all that experience under my belt too. And I don't have to deal with that to that degree anymore. Okay. Get over here. I don't have to deal with that anymore. I don't. I have to deal with the financial abuse and there's reasons for that that I'm not going to go into right now. But hopefully I'll be free from that too. Okay. So if you're involved with someone who is... A narcissist and you know or you know that there's something seriously wrong with them and you know for a fact that you do not want to deal with this person anymore and you're planning your escape I want you to take a day today to just take a break a breather give yourself some mental hygiene I want you to relax today soak in a hot bath if you don't live with them that's even better because you don't have to worry about leaving or putting them out but um I want this to be a, a, you know, mental hygiene day. I, I do. I just want you to focus on you and what you need, what your needs are. If you have children, what your children's needs are. You can do the planning to break this off. But today, if you can, I want you to take a break. The exception to that is if your life is in danger, your children's lives are in danger, then you need to make a move today, now, yesterday, a week ago. Okay. But if you're not in imminent danger, then I want you to just take a, a mental hygiene day and relax yourself. Okay. Take a hot bath, listen to some jazz, read a book. Um, 
I would advise you to go for a walk, but that depends on where you live because we've got, I'm in Missouri and we've got, oh my God, the cold here is <sighs> indescribable. I saw in one weather report that at one point we're going to have 30 minus 30 degrees below zero. And I'm just staring at those numbers like, you know, just kind of staring like, um, really? Wow. Wow. It's, it's, it's unheard of. Absolutely unheard of. But anyway, so if you are planning your escape, take a break today. If this person is mentally disordered, do not let them know what your moves are. Do not tell them in the heat of the moment, I'm taking the kids and we're leaving your ass. Don't do that. Do not let the enemy know what your next move is. If you have a joint bank account, take your half out and leave the other half in. Because if you're messing around with somebody who's a narc, there's two ways they control you the most. Actually, three. They don't love you or the kids. I'm sorry. They don't. They love themselves, regardless of the phony baloney. I love you. Oh, my God. Bullshit. It's all fake. It's all a facade. They don't love you guys. They love themselves. So they control you through money. They control you through sex. And they control you through power. To have the most power, they like to, the, to take the money. And if they could take the car away and leave you, you and the kids, or you, either one, or all the above, without a vehicle, that's perfect. Now, one lady... The guy she was seeing pulled that stunt. And I told her, I said, if you're ever in a situation like that again, and that person's in the military, you need to go to their first sergeant. Because the military don't play that. You have children. You have to have a vehicle. You, should, you have to have a vehicle anyway, depending on where you live. There's not buses everywhere. and You can't always afford a taxi or Uber. You've got children. If there's a medical emergency, you can't take them to the hospital or to the doctor because he took the car. Hell no. And absolutely hell no. You go to his um, commanding officer, first sergeant, whatever it's called, depending on the branch or the military they're in. The military don't play that. OK, so there will be none of that BS. No, 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 no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, they don't. They don't play that game. But yeah, make sure you, you know, take your half of the money out of the bank and limit the control that this person will have. Because don't tell them your next move. I'm, I'm warning you in advance. Do not tell them your next move. I don't care how mad you get. I'm taking the kids. You're never going to see them. <sighs> don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Men are, and sometimes women, are killing that person because rejection hurts them to the core of who they are. Everybody's supposed to kiss their feet in their twisted brain. Everybody's supposed to think they're amazing and everybody's supposed to kiss their feet. Regardless of how terrible they behave, you're supposed to kiss their feet. And rejection is, is it causes men to fly into a rage. And in some cases, women also. You don't tell them your next move. Also, I don't care how nice this person was in the beginning and he would never hurt me. You don't go to the house by yourself to get the rest of your belongings. You bring either a cop with you or you bring a close friend, preferably a cop, especially, especially if this person has exhibited violence in the past. Do not underestimate what a crazy person will do. Never underestimate them. That's a dangerous and potentially fatal mistake. So if you're not in imminent danger today, I want you to just take a mental hygiene day. And I want you to focus on yourself. And I want you to focus on taking a breather and just rolling with it for today. Soak in a hot bath. I think the longest I was in a hot bath was three hours. I didn't mean to do that. I was just distracted. I think I was playing with my phone or something and I was in there for a long time. And then my fingers got crinkly and I'm like, yeah, I should probably get out. I'm turning into a French fry. So it's time for me to get out of the water. Um, when you're alone, you don't have to deal with that. You can stay in there all night if you want to. I wouldn't advise it. It's not good for you, but 
you don't have to have bam, 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 bam. I got to use bathroom. When you're with somebody, they wait until your water's run and then they all of a sudden have to use bathroom. You better go outside and take a whiz behind a tree because you knew when the water was running, you had to go. Uh -uh. <laughs> but I don't have to deal with that. I don't have to deal with snarky attitude. I was at a barbecue once with the person who I was with at the time. And uh, there were tons and tons of people at these people's house. And he was acting like a horse's ass all day, making snarky comments, having attitude. I had it out with his son because I was protecting him. And his son jumped in the middle of it. And he didn't say a word. And his son was in the wrong. Plus his son was drunk. He's an adult. He was drunk. And instead of defending me when his son was wrong, he sided with him. He just sat there like a lump of clay. When you're dealing with a non-man, a little pansy, he's going to allow his children to disrespect you. Okay. Um, narcissists will do that. Sissy pansy men, little girly boys will do that. A real man would be like, don't talk to my woman like that. Hey, uh-uh. Don't talk to my woman like that. What's wrong with you? Have you lost your mind? Did you bump your head today? Do we need to take you to the ER? You don't use that tone when you're talking to my girlfriend or my fiance or my wife or whatever it is. But he's a girly boy. So he just sat there like. The only reason he had his son apologize to me later on that day was because my face had anger all over it. And he didn't want other people to notice and say, what's wrong? What's going on? He didn't want everybody to know. So all of a sudden later on, he had him sashay over to me and apologize and give me a hug. <laughs> really? Really? Are you serious right now? So that's a problem when you're dating someone with kids, especially if they are a pansy boy, a lady boy, a sissy pants, they're going to allow their children. They could, the children could be dead wrong. It does not matter. They will sit there like a lump of clay or they will defend that, that person. That's a deal breaker. That's a relationship breaker. So far as I'm concerned, because if you won't protect me with your little hellion, you're not going to protect me ever, you know? And, and I, he was in the wrong. Like I said, he was drunk. He had no business saying what he did and, and coming off to me the way he did. So I get to the point where the hell with both of you, you and your kid. Um, mm, if a man doesn't protect you, it's because he doesn't want to. And if he doesn't want to, it's time for you to get the hell out of Dodge. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, don't tell them your every move. Don't tell your enemy every move. Don't give them a head start. You're going to mess around and find out that the insurance, the health insurance was canceled. You're going to find out that the money was snatched out of the bank account and all of that, because that's the best way to destroy you. Narcissists are about destruction. The more devastation I do to you, the better. If my behavior causes you to go to the hospital and you're on suicide watch, yay! Yippee! She's so strung out over me. She's suicidal. I must be amazing. That's how sick they are in their head. Today, you're taking a hygiene break, a mental hygiene break, because if you don't, you're going to stress and stress and stress and stress, and you're going to end up in the hospital. You're going to have all kinds of medical problems and everything else. You don't want this. You don't want this. So today, take a deep breath with me. Whatever your best release is, I want you to go to it. No drugs, no alcohol, music, dancing, jazz music. If you want to lay on the couch, put your feet up and relax. A hot bath, you know, for ladies, paint your nails, paint your toenails, you know. Make arrangements to get a massage. Do it. It doesn't have to be today because it's probably later in the day to get a massage. I want you to spoil yourself and I want you to take a mental hygiene day. Okay. I mean, wow. When I was, uh, let me go back to the barbecue for a second. I had to leave him all day long and go with different groups of people and sit with them and hang with them because he, his little smart ass comments just Every time he sauntered over to me, some smart ass comments with, with him or fake niceness. And it was just such a turnoff. Um, at one point, 
a bunch of us were sitting by the fire. This is in the summertime. The fire keeps a lot of the bugs away, which is really lovely. So we're at this person's house and we are sitting by the fire and we're having a great time. And uh, he says to me later on, let's say the guy, the husband's name is Joe and he's very personable. He talks to everybody. He says to me, the wacko that I was with at the time, he says to me, why didn't, why were you talking about me behind my back to Joe? That never happened. Look at my face. I'm telling you the truth. That never happened. But this is what sickos will do. Twisted individual. Why did you say that? Why did you do that? Why did Susie tell me that you said this and that? And it's all bullshit. I told you this before. They have to cause destruction. I said, you've lost your, I don't know what I said. I might've said you lost your mind or what in the hell are you even talking about? And then I dismissed it. Like we're not even, look, don't, don't. Mm -mm. They will accuse you of what they are. He told me one time, oh, so glad to get rid of him. Oh, I'm so glad. Out of the clear blue sky says to me without provocation, he says, this wasn't even in the discussion. We weren't having a discussion. He says, you're pretty ungrateful. You know what that means? That's called projection. That's called he's ungrateful. So I have to accuse you of what I am. Today, we're not having that bullshit. We're having a mental hygiene, relax your mind day, a relaxed day. Okay. You want to start your bullshit? You go start it over there, down the street and around the corner and across the valley. We're not having it today. Okay. Whatever your plans are, if you're trying to get away from this person, do not, do not, do not, do not tell them what your plans are. Do not go back to the house. That's how people get beat up and killed. You go back to the house to pick up your belongings. Don't do it. Don't do it. If you're in imminent danger, you have to leave today now. But if you're not in immediate danger, you plot and plan carefully and don't ever ever, as long as you have breath in your body, don't ever underestimate what a desperate person will do. And when you're leaving them, they get desperate. Rejection is a karate kick to their ego. They can't handle that. And a lot of people react in a violent way. So you never want to get angry. Like I said, and he's standing here and you're like, I'll take the kids and you'll never see him again. Don't say that. Keep your mouth shut. I don't want you six feet under. And that comment could get you six feet under. Women have been killed for not doing anything like that. So you threatening him, you already leaving him. So he's high rejection mode. And then you're threatening him. He'll never see his kids again. That's how you get hurt and killed or missing. And no one ever finds your body. Keep your mouth shut. Never let your enemy know what your next move is. Never. And don't fall for the guilt. You're the one that broke up this family. I did everything for you. There was a, a couple on YouTube that was, he's narcissistic, okay? I mean, whoa. Hateful to the core. And she secretly recorded it on her phone. You're so ungrateful. You lazy bitch. I gave you a roof over your head. I did this for you. I did that for you. You don't appreciate nothing. So a man is supposed to provide. That's what men do. Being a man is not just about pulling someone's clothes off and jumping up on top of them. That's not being a man. Any doofus could do that, but you're supposed to provide. And then because you're, she's tired of your BS, all of a sudden, you ungrateful. I, I did this. I, 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 I. You're supposed to be a man. And you're supposed to provide a roof over her head, which he probably had before they got married. So what are you talking about? You weren't living on the street corner with a soda can or a, a other kind of can in your hand looking for money. Coffee can, whatever. You had a house. So all of a sudden, and, and he's talking about, I'll put you out and you know, you could go get and live in somebody else's house. Excuse me. Don't let, don't let them do guilt. I did this for you. I did that for you. They pull out a notebook. Here's a list of everything I did. We met this day. And ever since this day, I did this, that don't let that guilt you into going back. When you find out that they're the devil, we're done. We're done. 
I saw a documentary earlier today where he was practicing strangling people by strangling his wife during sex. He did that to two of his partners. He was practicing choking. So when he choked so and killed somebody, which he eventually did, he already had practice. They stayed with him until it was discovered that he is a horrible, horrible person, which you should know that when they're choking you in bed, unless that's what you all are into. And TMI, I don't need to know all that. <laughs> but um, you don't give him a second chance. Once he does it the first time, that's it. That's a deal breaker. Okay. But today, Mental Hygiene Day. All this stress could tear you apart. It could tear your body apart. It could cause all kinds of health problems. High blood pressure, kidney problems, liver problems, stroke, heart attack. And if that ever happens to you, the narcissist will be thrilled. She's so stressed over me. She had a heart attack. <laughs> because they're demons and they think that's funny. Today is a Mental Hygiene Day. If you need to make plans to get out tomorrow, then you do it tomorrow. But today is a mental hygiene day. Relax, 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 relax. There's meditation on YouTube. There's ASMR on YouTube. Don't ask me what that stands for because I forget every single time. Uh, something sensory meridian. Something. So, uh, meridian sensory response something i forget every time what that is I, for, I know what it is it causes tingles like if you hear somebody has a nice voice on the phone it gives you tingles because they're so relaxing there's asmr on youtube and it's wonderful and you can find what makes you the happiest what works for you what gives you the tingles it's very good for your body very good for your body and it's free doesn't cost you a dime okay mental hygiene day people mental hygiene relaxed day okay y'all be good love you bye